Good morning, my name is Bernard Adiakwa. It's another Tuesday. I'm bringing you God's Word from the Powerhouse Ministries International. Last week we started speaking about the language of the kingdom and we established the fact that language gives you an identity and a revelation of which kingdom you belong to. We looked at the structure of the language of God, which is his word. And there's only one language that God speaks, that is his word. We may have many dialects, but God's word is his language. And the ability to express yourself, to capture your spirit, your emotions, and your ideas into words, reveal who you are. God's word has the ability to effect itself without human effort. In looking at how God speaks, we looked at the first time God spoke the word when he said, let there be light. We understand clearly that the word of God is to be spoken, not quoted. We also understand that the word of God must be spoken for effect, boldly, and not whispered or spoken in a very um, offensive manner or muttering the word of God. The word of God must be heard clearly. The third thing was that you speak what you want and not the status quo. The world was filled with darkness. Earth was without void. But God didn't describe the earth. What he did was that he spoke what he wanted. And then the word of God must be spoken to all creation beyond a conversation with another human being. You speak to trees, you speak to the sun, you speak to the moon. Every element of the earth hears the word of God because they were created by the word of God and they respond to the creator what created them, the word. And the language is for development and not for conversation. So this is the summary of what we learned last week. Today, I just want to continue speaking about the spoken word. There is a difference between the spoken word and the written word. The written word is usually quoted and gives you knowledge. But the spoken word is spoken for effect and produces faith in the hearers. You can study the Bible and not have faith. Studying the Bible or pursuing a degree in biblical studies gives you knowledge. It does not necessarily mean that that knowledge will translate into faith or please God. Knowledge is very different from faith. Knowledge comes by studying. Faith comes by hearing. And so knowledge can puff you up without you having faith. You don't just go to school and boast of good grace. But you must be able to translate what you learn in school into improving your life. Number three, the written word teaches us about God. But the spoken word progresses your life. Every miracle of God comes through the spoken word. Do not just put the Bible under your pillow or chest and expect miracles. Even the devil has knowledge of the word, but he doesn't walk in faith. The spoken word by God casts out demons. And it is important for you to understand the relevance and the importance of the spoken word. As for the quoted word, even the devil knows it when he tempted Jesus Christ. Another thing to notice about the spoken word is that the word of God must be spoken. And that is the embodiment of God. The word of God is God manifest without human channel. And the centurion, I'm sure you all remember the story of the centurion, who says, speak the word only and my servant will be healed. The word of God must be spoken so that its effect will be, will be experienced by all the hearers. The final thing I want to speak about today is that the word of God can be sent to accomplish a purpose. And so you can also send the word of God on an oil run as you speak it. So let's look at our verse for today in Isaiah chapter 55, verse number 10. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it to bud, and bring forth fruit, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. Verse 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish the purpose that I, I please, and it shall prosper in the thing thereto I sent it. So there are a few things. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. So the word of God must be released from the mouth of God to have a certain effect. And that is why we speak about the spoken word and differentiate it from the written word. What are the things we learn from this? Number one, the spoken word is like rain or snow. That comes from heaven 
and will never return in its original state. So the word of God is like the word of God that goes out of God's mouth. It's like rain that comes from heaven or snow. It comes to accomplish a purpose. It does not go back to heaven as snow. It does not go back to the earth, to, the, to heaven as rain. Number two, the word of God comes to water the earth. It breaks hard fallow grounds and loosens the earth. The spoken word of God comes to remove a lot of unwanted elements in our lives. It breaks it down so that things that are in the earth of our lives can be released. Number three, the womb of the earth holds precious things that unless the rain falls upon it, never comes out. So when the word of God comes into your life, it breaks fallow grounds. It allows things that are hidden within the womb of your life to begin to germinate and come out. So when God wants to do something in your life, you don't even, you may not be aware of the potentials and the gifts in your life, but he sends his word. It waters your, the earth of your life and then causes things of God within you that nobody sees, that are hidden within you to be able to germinate and come forth. And that is why you must be in a place where this word of God is spoken because God is working in your life to bring his purposes and his will to pass in your life. Things in the earth or in the womb of your life that you have no idea about begin to spring. I believe that there's prosperity beyond your education. I believe that there's healing beyond your education. I believe that the will of God and your future that you can't even see may be hidden in your life. But as you allow the word of God into your life, it begins to water the earth of your life and cause those things to blossom that it may give bread to the eater and seed to the sower. Understand it clearly. Every time you go to church to hear the word of God, you are allowing God to be able to work in your life. It is through the spoken word that this is accomplished. So the Bible says that, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It is not enough just to read the Bible. It is enough to be in a place where the Bible, the word of God is also spoken. Because faith cometh by hearing. It means that somebody must speak the word of God. Keep speaking the word of God to yourself wherever you are. You can begin to only speak the word like the centurion says. And then healing of God will come into your life. The prosperity of God will come into your life. The things that you haven't even seen as yet will begin to manifest because the word of God, God's language, God himself will be expressed over your life. It will dominate over every negative situation and allow his will to come to fruition. I bless you today. I ask that may the word that you have heard today, may it bring out some things that God wants to do in your life and propel you into a God-glorious future. God bless you. I'm going to come your way again next week as we continue this enlightening series on the spoken word of God. In Jesus' name, amen.